Hello, and welcome to the Sylvia Speaks podcast, where we dive deep into the currents of the spiritual community and explore what's unfolding in our collective consciousness. I'm your host, Roseanne, and in each episode, we connect with the universe to bring you channeled messages that resonate with the energies and issues at play right now. Here, we don't skim the surface, we journey into the depths of your spiritual experience. Whether it's clarification on popular topics, trending across the internet, insights into our shared journey, or personal stories from my encounters in the public eye, each episode is crafted to provide you with the understanding and confirmation for what you may be feeling in your own life. This podcast is designed for those of you who are not just dabbling, but are committed to walking your spiritual path and seeking deeper truths. If you're ready to explore, reflect, and connect with the universe, you're in the right place. So sit back, open your hearts, your mind, and let's embark on this transformative journey together. Hey everybody, welcome to our sixth episode of uh, Sylvia Speaks Podcast. Um, this one is coming to you, I'm, it's late at night and I was uh, laying just uh, getting ready really to fall asleep and I was watching some um, videos just clearing my mind and um, it was a uh, Princess Diana one and I just um, really, it was, it, it really drew me because uh, the message to me was keep going. Keep going in whatever it is that you're doing right now because you may be misunderstood, but it's just because you are not of this time. You are of quote-unquote, future energy. And what that means is that many, many, many of us are living in energies that have not yet completely anchored into this this uh, reality yet. Princess Diana, um, I remember back then, I was a very young girl. I mean, I was little, like not even a teenager yet, you know, not even a preteen, most of, the, most of her when she was popular, and um, the way that people looked at her then is quite different than the way they look at her now. Now we see her truth, we see how she was an energy that was coming into this um, uh, what, what's the word? very stiff society um and 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 me being an american speaking about this i can't even really sp um say the words or or feel the the um the change as much as some of my um english friends have you know but there have been others you know like her that now that we're looking back in rep retrospect um to what she has done, what a great change was created because her energy was truly different from that of the normal energy that was she, it was almost like it was almost like a light infiltrating a darkness, wasn't it? And so when I see this, and there were there's others too, but it's just not I'm a little sleepy, I'm just it's not I'm not remembering it right in this moment, but it's like, hey, you know, think about what you do on a daily basis where you are the weird one, you know, but to that person or those kids, those kids, I, I'm thinking of something I did the other day where, you know, here I was in a public setting and I saw a mom really struggling with her kids and everybody's like kind of just doing their own thing and like nobody and everybody's a little afraid to step forward and without ever thinking a thing I just went and in, into action you know I speak to everyone that was there at that group setting I I was in infiltrating and helping everywhere I could you know um, a second one that I was at was where we were uh, um, just recently I was in a setting where it was business casual, so everybody, when I came, I dressed 
in bright yellows and pinks and orange dress that my son bought me with a, a bright pink and white shawl or like a like a um, scarf sort of to go around my shoulders and it was and the compliments that I received from everyone because there was no fear in what I was wearing. I was going as genuine of a person as I could be. This is who I am and I was showing it. And so it was a very stiff sort of, you know, business casual is what it was called, but pretty much everybody was kind of wearing a, wearing formal things. And there were moments where, you know, a lot of seniors were there, a lot of older, like 80s, in their 80s. And as I navigated the whole um, area that I was in, uh, I saw opportunities to help and be of service to others and just spread that loving vibrational energy. And I know in that moment, people were looking at me like, what a weirdo. Look at that weird girl, how she's just you know, talking with everybody. I don't know her, you know, but yet I was there to give someone a, give someone a bottle of water who had been sitting, you know, not able to go get it herself for like hours. Um, someone who was with a walker and a, her ego was almost allowing her to be in distress because she could not handle having to have her walker near her where, I just stepped in and pushed it closer to her, but behind her, so that way it wouldn't be in the forefront, you know? Just just one thing after the other, just always being there. And what I'm getting at is that these simple little things, the way we talk to people, our opportunities to just shine and speak our truth, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because what we're doing right now and it's not even going to take as much time as like this Princess Diana thing that I'm talking about. Because that's back from the 80s, early 80s. Like I think I, it was like 82, 1982. And now we are in, you know, 2024. So that's like 40 years difference. It ain't. It's not even going to take that long. We're seeing things from 2019 that we were speaking about that everybody was thinking was... Ooh, don't talk like that. And it's already happening. That's how quickly it is. So the more that we all step into our power and we speak the change and we act the change and we walk in that vibration, it's moving fast. It's moving fast. I moved to Belgium in um, the beginning of 23, 2023. And I moved back to America at the end of 2023. In just a year's time, the changes that has occurred have been so monumental. What used to take decades to implement energies change on a collective you know, scale are happening within six months to a year's time now. So the message is, is that do not fear and walk in whatever energy that you're in right now because because you're a trendsetter and it's okay it's okay to be you know to be right where you are sometimes it feels a little lonely but use this podcast use what you're seeing remember that others before us were the same way and we're now looking in retrospect at them and we are honoring them so that's what this is all about is don't don't have fear no fear there is no fear anymore no fear energies mm -mm. we are unique individuals and we are sh blasting forward shining so brightly it's coming so quickly right now you know the changes so that's all i have to say about that and boy i'm going to go to sleep with a very peaceful heart from that revelation so Whenever this reaches you, have a good day, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. Take care.